Hi, this is JP Morgan. Today on the Slant and Lands, we're going to take a look at a new product from Datacolor. It's called the Spider Five Pro. The Spider Pro is a monitor calibrating software. It's really made so you can calibrate your monitor to get a consistent result to know if your images are exposed correctly, to know if you're going to be able to print correctly if you go into a printing process afterwards. It starts to control the process a little bit. If you don't use this kind of software, then basically when you're looking at images on your camera, you are throwing it on your computer, you have no idea where you're at. This product will help you to create a workflow that allow you to standardize your color, standardize your exposure, so that the images you're taking other people will be able to see them and they're exposed correctly and they're going to print correctly. You don't need this product if no one's ever going to see your images. If you're just going to look at them on your monitor and you're just going to enjoy them, sit them there in your living room, then you don't need this. But if you're now going to share your images, either it's on the internet or through a printing process, make prints that you're going to share or sell, or you're going to send images out to be printed for publication or for other people to use for stock or what have you, you've got to have some kind of a standard that will help you to know that the exposure and the color you're getting are going to be acceptable, they're going to look correct, and other people are going to view them the way that you do. So this is a way to ensure that what you shoot, other people are going to see it the way you see it and they're not going to have it on their monitor and it's going to be all over the place. So, we can't control other people's monitors, but we can control ours. We can control our part of the process and helps us get a standard that makes us so our images are going to look better on most monitors out there. So I think this is a really good thing to do. Jolene calibrates her monitor all the time when she's doing retouching because she has to make it so that other people will see the images the way she does. Images she gets from other people, she has to be able to look at them, they have to be correct, and then she has to be able to make adjustments to them and send them back to the individual. I've got it set up on my laptop here. If I hit OK, it says, please make sure your spider sensor is placed, plugged in the USB. We've done that. It's plugged into the USB. We're going to do that. So it's set up. When you click on the menu here, what you're going to calibrate, you've got all these different options of different uh, types of computers, laptops, uh, desktop monitors, uh, iMacs, those kinds of things you can select from. We're going to say Apple. We're going to go to Next. The first thing that will happen is they're going to have you put the puck out on your desktop. And if it's a very bright room, it's going to help you understand what you need to do to be able to work in the brightness that you're in. It's not an ideal situation to work in a bright room. It doesn't let you see your monitor the way you should. You really should be in a darker area. So after you've gone through that, we're now going to put, like we've done, put the puck onto the, the uh, screen. It's nice that it has a cap. This little cap sits on it like that. But when you pull the cap off, the cap now becomes the counterbalance to set our puck in place so we can display, so we can calibrate. And we go to next. And it's going to go through the process. First off, it's going to look at uh, you know, just your image uh, brightness, and then it's going to go through a complete calibration of your monitor. It takes about three to five minutes to get it done. I mean, they say less, but I'm saying three to five minutes, depending on how involved I'm going to be in that process. So they do have a version of this product, the Express, that's kind of a little more slimmed down. Uh, it's really made for, if you just want to calibrate your monitor, do a couple of things that doesn't have the sensor to be able to help you sense the surroundings in, in the work area. If you're a professional photographer and moving that direction, spend the extra few dollars, get into the uh, Spider 5 Pro, it's really worth it. They have the Spider Pro Elite, which is the next step up. Uh, that really makes it so you can calibrate projectors. It opens up a lot of different avenues of things you can calibrate. I think this is a great product for someone who just wants to get good calibration and be able to have a good sense that their monitor is working right. What you see on the back of your camera is going to work to your monitor. You know, we've calibrated two other monitors now since we opened the box. It's just quick to use and easy to use. It walks you through each of the steps, tells you exactly what you have to do. So it's not something to be intimidated by. Just get on there and do what it asks you to do. Follow the steps and you'll have a calibrated monitor. My experience is that most monitors, when you calibrate them, are a little darker than what you've been walk looking at. Most people really keep their monitors a little too bright. You can work on 16-bit monitors as well as, but it's kind of preferred to work on 24-bit monitors, so a little more information to work with, but uh, you know, set it on your computer, it'll help you know what to do. So we're finished. Measuring is complete, so measuring is complete. It says, we recommend you do a calibration at least once a month. I think that's a good idea. If you do it once a month, you're going to make sure your monitor always stays consistent. What's really important is you're going to get used to looking at your monitor. If you keep them calibrated, you're going to get used to that look because right now you're probably looking at a monitor that's just too bright. It's going to affect the way you shoot because you're now going to, if you take an image you shot that looked great on the back of your camera, you look at it on your monitor and it just looks way too dark, 
then you're going to realize that probably the screen on your camera is set way too bright as well. So you're going to bring the screen on the back of your camera down so it's going to feel more comfortable with what you get on your monitor. You get predictable results that way and that's really what you're after. That's what this is, helping you to refine and define your workflow. So check it out, the Datacolor Spider 5 Pro. So keep those cameras rolling, keep on clicking. Giveaways are back on the Slanted Lens. We're giving away a 150 to 600 millimeter lens. So go to theslantedlens.com and sign up for the giveaway. If you want to improve your lighting, the very easiest way to do that is with a reflector. Go to theslantedlens.com slash reflector. Buy our digital download. It'll teach you everything you need to know. So don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and like us on Facebook. Who doesn't want to be liked on Facebook? And leave a comment. Who doesn't want to hear a comment? Well, some of them. But leave us a comment. Check out our webpage. Great giveaways going on there. We love you. Stick with us every week.